And so, number 15. The last question in paper two of the 2019 Higher Maths. Now, usually this question is a sort of tricky question. You need to think about a bit. But there seems to be a standard. Look what it says here. There's a circle, and you've got its centre. There's a point in the circumference of the circle, and there's a line that's a tangent. And ignoring the rest of the question, for the first three marks out of the seven, it says, what's the equation of that tangent? Well, that's something you'd expect much earlier on in the paper, even in paper one somewhere. The equation of a tangent, well, it's just a line. To get the equation of a line, you need a point on it. You've got it. You need its gradient. Well, to get its gradient, you can use the fact that it's perpendicular to this radius. So, what's the gradient of that radius? Difference in the y over difference in the x. 12 take away 13. Difference in the x is in the same order, 8 take away 5. So that's negative 1 upon 3. So immediately, the gradient of the tangent, which I could have called Tp then, is going to be the negative of the reciprocal, which is 3. So, what's the equation of the line then? y minus b is mx minus a. Y minus the Y coordinate, 13 is the gradient, 3, that looks about right, steep. X minus the X coordinate, which is 5. So you've got Y is 3X minus the 15, but plus the 13. So Y equals 3X minus 2. Then what does it say? The tangent from P carries on and cuts the y-axis at T and just state the coordinates of T. Well, at T, x equals 0. So that means y is negative 2. So T is the point 0, negative 2. This feels like the first question in the paper. 2. Final three marks. What's the equation of the circle that passes through the points C, P, and T? Now, if those are points in the circle, and that happens to be a right angle, you only get a right angle in a special case in a circle, and that's when you've got a diameter. So, C, T must be the diameter. Maybe good the reason as angle CPT is 90 degrees. And if that's the case, the centre of the circle, what do you got C there, maybe we'll use a K, must be halfway between C and T. That was zero, negative two. So you could just state it, or you could go through the calculation, average of the coordinates, X plus eight upon two for the X's, zero plus eight upon two, negative two plus 12, upon 2. So k is the point 4, 5. We'll just show that was centre. That's the centre. Centre's at 4, 5. Last thing you need is the radius. The radius is the distance from the centre to any of the three points. So the radius will be, I'll we'll just do radius squared, but just pick I know k is 4, 5. I'll just take them because they're beside each other. Difference in the x's, 8 take away 4. Difference in the y's, 12 take away 5. That's 4 squared plus 7 squared. That's 16 plus 49, run out of space. That's 65. Now, I don't need to state that explicitly, that the radius is root 65, because now I can get the equation. I've run out of space, I'll just have to squeeze it in here. So the equation is x minus the x coordinate squared plus y minus the y-coordinate squared is the radius squared, which is 65.